An amazing film is eating the cinemas very soon. The title is Ayinla. Ayinla is a film about one of the greatest artists Africa is ever proud to own. This is a man that's from Abiyokuta, and today Kilani, the great director, is bringing this into life for all of us to watch. But before we get to that stage, I have the amazing cast of this great film with me on this beautiful couch. We're talking about their experience filming this particular film. We talk about their cast interaction, how they brought their roles to life. Your favorite are in this film. In fact, your favorite favorites, <laughs> they're also in this film. Now, should in case you didn't have a favorite before, you can choose a favorite today. It's never too late. Are you ready? In one, two, three. Welcome to the cast interview. So first off, we'll be talking to Latif Adedimeji, who played the role of Ainla in the film. Well, I said behind the camera, I said that uh, Latif is having many, many talent. Uh, he's a actor, he's a singer. Oh, man, so I know, what's it, what? And so when I saw that you played that role, personally, let me just tell you how I felt. I felt like, oh, that's the best decision ever. So tell me, have you ever worked with a great director before, Tudek Ilani? No. You haven't? So how did you feel when you got the call? Mm, at first, it was like, yeah, she mistake. <laughs> <laughs> because, and then when um, Jaddy told me um, we'll be filming and I'll be playing Angela, I said, okay, that um, Tunde Kilani will call me. I said, wait, which um, Tunde Kilani? He <laughs> will call me. Which of the two days? Okay, no problem. So when I saw his call, I said, uh, Latif. I said, Daddy, mm -mm. me can she daddy. We <laughs> mini baba, effect ba mini. <laughs> Should it be a script? I said, yes, I have the script. Okay, I'll appear later. And then, so it was still like a dream mm. until he said, okay, come and see me. My house. So I went to Abeokuta and then we sat down one on one and then we talked about the script and then he gave me a lot of Bibles. And I'm allowed to go and start reading wow. and then get back to him on it, and then it becomes ah, from the days of Shaori Day hmm. and, and all of that. Said, so, this dream will come true. Wow, we'll work with Uncle Tunde. Wow, yes, this is true. amazing. Okay, so now, um, next to you now, what role you play in the film? So, I played the character of Jai. Uh, Jai is a reporter. Okay, so, um I think when people hear about like the film of Ainla, a film about Ainla, they think it's like a biopic. So it's more like inspired by true events. Oh, great. So I feel like my character is sort of, I'd say she represents the audience because I... the role she plays in the film, so she gets this assignment by her boss to go and follow Ainla around and actually like interview him and mm -hmm. find out about his life. Mm -hmm. So I feel like she sort of serves as that mirror for the audience so that Great. they can come along on this journey as she's trying to discover who he is as well. Oh, amazing. Okay, so we'll come back to you because there are some things I'm quite interested in. That's being the audience for the audience in the film. Mm -hmm. So now we have um, the line producer, Tony. So now tell us, what was it like working with this bunch <laughs> of, of, of talent? <laughs> you know, I, I just being on this um, set right now, guys, with these amazing people, I already feel elated. It's exciting to be here. The energy is great. It's wild. I mean, these are a bunch of creatives. So how do you feel? Work, I, can't, I, I don't want to say felt because mm -hmm. the feeling is continuous. She's still working. <laughs> don't get now. <laughs> so how do you feel working with this bunch of um, creatives? And how would you say they deliver? the storyline for Ainla. Um, so being on the set of Ainla, let me backtrack. Before we got on set, just interacting with them, of course, as a line producer, I had to discuss mm -hmm. the money part <laughs> um, with all of them. Mm. Some conversations were very easy. Mm -hmm. Some weren't as easy. Mm. Uh, <laughs> but we all found the middle point at the end of Why the day. Why do I think they are talking to Latif? <laughs> Why do I think that? <laughs> well, you know, we, we, found, we found a middle point at, at the end of the day. So cool. we had to go talk to their management. Mm -hmm. So we were able to talk to them directly. But, mm -hmm. you know, we went through that. And then we got on set in Abel Kuta, another experience. But these guys and the other cast members that are not here mm. were all fantastic. Wow. They were all amazing. Oh, my God. Um, 
<laughs> so I've worked with I've worked with Omo Midada before in lab, but for the elders it was my first time working with them. But it was easy, it was breezy. Yeah, even when we had, exactly. So even when we had issues on set, as you would expect, mm -hmm. you know, everybody understood and would just say, Oh, it's production, you know, I know this thing would happen. Nice. Let's, let's just deal with it and, and move on. Nice. Um I think the TK effect also helped. So mm -hmm. TK now being today Kelani, that's what we call him. Mm. I think that also helped. Great. So most times when I even need to resolve something, they don't see me as towing talking, but they just see it as okay, she's speaking on behalf of TK and if this is what TK wants, it's then fine. TK will get it. And so that was really helpful. I'm wow, like, Wow, oh, that's magic. I should work with TK. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's but magic. overall it was good, it was amazing. The Great. performances were amazing. Some of them have asked me, Oh, have you seen the final product? What does it look like? Yeah. It was very good. I'm happy that we had these fantastic people work with us. I mean, every second excitement keeps getting higher and higher, the back keeps going up. I cannot personally wait to see the film. Um, so backstory that we heard uh, with this um, Angela man, although you had said that it's just an inspiration, not a true life story representation. However, we, know, we all know that Debo in real life, oh no, let us, let, let's not say in real life, he has that uh, freaky freaky daddy character and inside the same film, you are still struggling with your buzz. With woman, <laughs> oh, if you, in my own opinion, if I, if I don't want to go public opinion, all oh, wrong. So now you tell me, how was it filming with um, TK? Let me ask as if you know I, that's how we started. Do it now. So now, how do you feel? How do you feel filming with TK? The role being um, Ayla's manager, am I correct? Yes. Yeah. How did you bring that to life? Oh yeah, uh, well it was awesome working with the legendary Tunde Kilani. One of my life, you know. Oh. Uh, if you if you ask me that question, maybe two years ago, and uh, someone said, "Do you see yourself working with the Kilani mm -hmm. next day or next day or whatever?" Uh, now, did you be that? <laughs> when he was still out. <laughs> 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 I, mean, I will get there. <laughs> so I mean, when I got the call, I was I was on board and I was happy to to jump on the project. Um, so also bringing the the character to life. You know, of course, I have to look at it. And then my father is a great fan of Angela. Uh, so, you know, he already told me so much. This one, that one, this is the manager, this one. Which I, which I, so I also did my own um, homework. <clears throat> and then it was, it was fun for me. It was fun for me because um, if you ask me, I like anything that actually takes me away from Freaky Freaky Daddy. Oh. <laughs> I like it. I like to explore. And then I like for... Um, the audience to see another um, um, another actor, another um, performance in my acting um, space. So yeah, it was great. Amazing. So you still didn't answer the part where is it true that genuinely, realistically, you would collect the, the girlfriend? No. Uh, don't worry. Why don't you just no. wait to watch it? Exactly. I can't wait I now. Mean, I'm already just, excited. She does not even know. She's just saying. <laughs> No, we know some stories about yes, the great Ayla. Yeah, we heard it. And of course, like, so you won't tell me. Right, said, I won't tell you. He's not gonna tell us. Wait till you watch what really happened. Yeah. But know that even eventually, whatever you see, mm -hmm. this is a work of art, and mm -hmm. we have said that it's inspired by um, true life events, right? Mm -hmm. So of course, you know that the director has the right and has the ability and the capacity to, to, yeah, to do however. It is. Mm -hmm. So, but wait and see whether what she's saying. I think that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I mean, at the end of the day, this is this all boils down to we cannot wait to see the film in the yeah, cinemas. Yeah. Can you wait? Can you wait? I know you cannot wait. And finally, we have the gorgeous lady who's also in the film, Omami Dada. So tell us, what role did you play in the film? Okay, I played the character Deborah. Hmm. In the film, every day, every Debbie, let me <laughs> every Debbie, they always bring trouble. What did you do? Are you the girlfriend? Deborah, aka Debo Debo. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so um, let me take you back to um, do you want my experience working with TK first? Yes, or Deborah herself? Both, give us both. Okay, I went to command the secondary school, Ushudi, for six years of my life. Every day, I would literally pass mainframe office at St. De Calisto Charity. Right. And every day, I would say, ah, one day, I'd love to work with this man. At that point, I thought I wanted to become an actor, um, a lawyer. So it was either being a lawyer or an actor. I grew up watching all of his films. So when I found out that I was going to be on set with him as my director, it was literally 
a dream come true. I cried that day. I was like, wow. Wow. So this is a lesson to me, and I hope someone out there was going to take this lesson, that speak into your existence mm. what you want today. Start saying it. Because you, 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 you might not know, but the universe is listening to you. It might be as minute as anything, but say, because it happened for me, and greater mm. things are definitely going to happen. Now. Amen. 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 Thank you, Kiki. Thank you, Kiki. So when I found out that I was going to play Deborah in the movie Ayinla, I grew up listening to the likes of Ayinla, Mawurai, Biniza Obe, uh, Saniade. I was super excited. Now, I listened to a lot of his songs, but I didn't know so much about his story, the story of his life. So when I read the script, that my first, my first emotion was anger. Mm. I was angry <laughs> at certain decisions that he made, you know. But I loved it. And, you know, like me, like me, I know that a lot of people of this generation and younger generation do not know the story of some of these legends. Mm. Now, this man is the first Yoruba man that would have taken the Yoruba language outside this nation. His music, the Akbala music, he was the first person that would have taken the Akbala music beyond the shores of Africa. Mm. Europeans wanted him. I mean, that would have been so super big. A lot of us did not know about it. Do you understand? So I love the fact that we're telling this story. So even if we never met him, now we can experience him. Mm -hmm. Now, some of these artists that we also know of this generation, we don't even know their story. Mm. So I think it's about time that Africans tell the African story to the world. And I'm so excited that we're starting with Ayinla because take it or leave it. Music is... Um, music is food to the soul. Yes, it is. And African music is amazing. Mm -hmm. It connects you to your... To, it connects you to... To your to, roots. To your spirits, to yeah. your roots. So yes, I'm very excited that we're doing this. Now, Deborah! <laughs> hey! I would say that um, Deborah was quite a catalyst to certain incidents of Ayinla's life. Um, this, Deborah also showed the power of, wo of women, you know, womanhood. Women out there were super strong, and the truth is we can make and break. Hmm. The decision hmm. is all up to you. Is it pause for me? So I hope that <laughs> as women, we, just, we choose hmm. to make no. and not break. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much. So now, what do we look out for in your character in the film? The um, film is about your character, Ayla. Mm -hmm. their, their highs, their lows. What is that one moment you will say we should look out for? In the film, um, every every moment will count hmm. in this movie. Every hmm. moment. Every scene is a bank. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> because um, this is. What was the highlight for you? Like, uh, like playing that role now, the Ainla role. What was the highlight for you? Basically, those songs. Right. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> 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 those songs. <laughs> Because, some of the songs today, by the way. That man we should do that. We should do that. Is about the only musician that I know that will leave um, the backup singers singing their chorus and he will go and join them with another voice entirely. Mm -hmm. hmm. And now this is you doing all of those songs and then using his voice and not trying to miss any line. Wow. You must just stick to it because wow. TK, <laughs> you just have to get it right. I went to learn on that set because there was a, just a line, a me, Omowura Motu, and I took <laughs> that line 20 times. <laughs> TK was saying, Oh, yeah, action, a me, Kilon Wuluke. What's your motivation to look up there? Take it again. I took it again with my hands on the window. It was a learning, learning process for me entirely. And mm. there was no um, record of any kind of this man. No yes. interview, no nothing. Yes. So now this is me trying to look for, 
look for his character. Yeah. From the story I've heard about him, from yes. what I read about him. And like no visual representation. You know, because TK had to take me around his house to make me walk around his house, took me inside yeah. his house, where, he's, where he lived, the room itself. I sat in the room for a few minutes. You know, trying to see how maybe mm. the spirit That's would, you know, stretch it for me. Okay, 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 you know? <laughs> <laughs> but you know, it was it was every moment count. And then it was me listening to Aquala music all of the time. At some point, he would ask the the band people to come and sit in my hotel room. If I sleep and wake up, I will meet them singing. So <laughs> sleep and wake up. They are singing. Ah. You, you must get this song by my fire. Wow. And then it was good. Everybody on set was amazing. Right. And they, this one. Hey. <laughs> Jinga, Jinga. Jinga. <laughs> At some point, I'll be like, ah, me and Leshe, oh my she. Oh my she, say my worry. Not for my she. <laughs> so it was, everybody was on point. Mm. And then, by your wa. Ah, not that ginger, you know. <laughs> when we feel like ah, we are getting tired, somebody will shall do something stupid. Yeah. You see that you do something stupid, right? <laughs> yeah, like, you know. yeah, it does that for a living. <laughs> yeah, it does that for a living. That's why he does all this. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, we finally cracked that. We finally cracked that. Amazing, amazing. So it was it was it was great all the way and then um I can I can't even wait to see. I'm scared. Mm -hmm. And because the old world is expecting that yes. what what have we done? Mm -hmm. And then I'm so scared that they should just we should be able to meet up their expectations. Expectation. That's that's basically all I'm about. And then about me, my phone in book or in. They just sing it. They just sing the song. Yeah. Bow me, my phone in book or in. Bow me, my phone in book or in. Where's that going? Why at the salary where where? To budget to niggas sini. To budget to niggas sini. To move my phone in book or in. Give us. I want a lady. I want to see where where. Give us. Give us. Give us. <laughs> That's amazing. Okay, so now let's go back to Debo. Playing his manager in the film. What was that like? I mean, we've heard that this man is a great man, he's so talented. So the person that is going to manage this person that is very talented also has to be extremely skilled, at least with managing this man. And I also hear that this is a man that does things off his head, sings music off mm -hmm. his head. There's zero rehaza, there's zero practice, mm -hmm. he just delivers. So how was it, you know, playing the role of his manager and, you know, bringing that character back to life? Um, yeah, great. So, I know he's very, of course, he's talented, um, intelligent, and, you know, a blessed man, you know. But on, his manager, it was even brilliant, mm. yeah, to say the least. Quite brilliant, you know. And this is someone to that someone that uh, is, is learned, you get. So um, the manager was able to um, put him in place, you know. Of course, he still had the upper and he's the star. Of course. He's, he's the big guy and everybody wants to see Angela. Everybody wants Angela to perform at the occasions and all of that. So it was the duty of the manager to understand Angela's lapses mm. and those things that won't, won't sit well. He, he would get away with it, mm -hmm. but the manager was always there to ensure that he didn't cost him his life at least mm -hmm. and that uh, it was still properly managed. So yeah, so um, that was by a while. Um, I was able to, I mean, by nature of taking time to, like I told you, my dad is a big fan. And then my dad told me a lot of things too about the manager and then his temperament, up, down, you know. Right. At the same time, he too was finding a balance, mm -hmm. you know. So I was just able to understand, understand that situation mm -hmm. and then uh, use that in interpreting the role. Great. So what was, what was like the highlight for you in your role? What was the highlight? Like, yeah. what was that one moment that was almost breaking or challenging or exciting? That's that moment that as the character you embraced or consumed, that one moment. There was one time we had a fight. Yeah. 
I don't say much about the fight. <laughs> <laughs> I don't say much about the fight. You had to be there. Yeah. <laughs> we had a fight, and it was intense for me. Right. You know, because um, I had to play with a lot of emotions. Mm. Uh, what was the reason for the fight? Uh, did I persevere enough? And, you know, and still, because that character, my character, sort of admired him a lot, mm. you know. So regardless, regardless of our differences, there was still this admiration for him. So I had to balance all of those emotions with anger, and mm. annoyance, and frustration, and tiredness. Wow. Yeah, so it was that moment for me. That's <laughs> a lot. Moment. That's a lot. Yeah. So what's the character um, interaction between... Um, with, do you have any character interaction with Debbie? This one. Yes. Oh, yeah. Just wait. Oh, my. She's my sister. Okay, I see the look. I see the look. Okay, so what was the, what was the character um, a relationship with her? Debbie, Debbie. yes, yeah. the Debbie. Yeah. 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 Right. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> like a bee and it's a jack way. Me or Mobby, I'll shake him mass of motion. So, a baton, you know, female. Uh huh. I don't know by calling Moku and Leo. Uh huh. You are doing what more are you? We are or more with any old by by a while. By with any or my very she call off you and call off you. Mother Tibalu. London. 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 It was fun, it was mm. interesting. <laughs> and then at Deborah, I live so quick. Oh, fine, lad. I did a little bit like again. I'm Tiffa Babu doing young baby. Oh, my dear, can you see? I'm going to say so in Botosa, you can break. Yeah. And then you can, can make. Can make. Uh, Hello, I'm a mobi to break you. I'm going to make you. Thank you. So now you had said earlier on that you had the eyes and the ears of the audience. So now tell me, what do you think my first emotional um, encounter is going to be with the film? Um, I think first of all, you will be blown away by how beautiful it looks. Yeah. Like it, I mean, when I saw a trailer, I was like, oh, I was there. But you know what you now see? <laughs> yeah. I'm like, wow, this is amazing. So I feel like... One of the highlights for me, I would say, was being able to be in that time period. Because I'm not that old. I was not alive at that time. <laughs> um, but just being able to be like in the, what was it? Late 70s, 70s, 80s. 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 Um, and just the fashion and mm, just and for all, that, it was just I'm practically looking forward to the premiere by the way, uh, for the fashion so Stunning, so I feel like yeah, it's just beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> Culture is fashion show. Yeah, <laughs> um, yeah. Culture yeah. Yes. So, so I think just the beauty of our um, of our culture, mm -hmm. just the, the the outfits, the our language. Mm. Um, I would say Yoruba, like, it's a Yoruba film, like, mm -hmm. just the beauty of that. And I feel like we really, really celebrated that in this film. And I can't wait for people to come on that journey Great. with us. Yeah. So what, what, what do you say the um, emotional transition is like in the film? Um, I think, so I would say, because it's based on um, a true life, a real person, it's mm. based on a real person. I think you just realize, I don't want to give too much away, but mm. I think you just realize how complicated life Yes. Mm. Like mm. really, you're just like life is complicated. Human beings are complicated. Mm. Yes. Um, you know, and then I think this the idea that someone can be so gifted mm. and so troubled 
at mm. the same time. Like I, mm. I find that a lot of people who just have this amazing talents, they also have a lot of demons as well. Mm -hmm. um, and so I feel like you you will get to kind of go on that journey. Ayla, Ayla was a bit of a mess. Like mm -hmm. he was a bit of a mess. He was mm -hmm. talented, but he was a bit of a mess. And then, you know, when you're not also now surrounded by people who are trying to latch on to that greatness yes. and how that can either, you know, help you or bring you down. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, fame in, in itself is, is a bit of a drug. Yes. And if you're not careful, things, things yeah. can happen. Yeah. And I feel like... Things may fall apart. Like, yeah, <laughs> and I think you really see that in our last story. So I think it's just the... the the, the human condition is, is complicated. Famous people have a lot of yeah. things, to, things yeah. to battle yeah. with. To so, with. yeah. I think okay, so I think I'm just going to close this up by asking you that what do you think that this film is going to do to our history? What do you think that this film is going to um, do to our level of education and orientation as per what we own as a country? Okay, so first I will start by saying that, um, I mean, look at all of us here. Mm -hmm. None of us was alive. Mm -hmm. when Aila was here. Mm. If I go back to the rest of the cast and even the crew members... I'm, I'm sorry to cut you short. I'm, I'm 45, by the way, so... You are? Yeah, I'm on, I was alive. <laughs> <laughs> you so good. <laughs> you know, and don't. Like, don't. We know you're real. Right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, so if, you, if I also look back to the rest of the cast members and even crew members, I can count on... I think one one and how many people were born at that time. Hmm. Half of those people were not even conscious of themselves, even though they were born at that time. Right. You know, talk less of even knowing who Ayla is or mm -hmm. was. So for me, first that, you know, those of us behind this project are mostly young people that were not alive at that time and we could come together to bring such a masterpiece. I think that for me first is something that I'll always be proud of, of myself and of everybody on the project. Um, and then if you go back into the story itself, from the scripting to the costumes, like she said, I mean, we had Adebakari as our costumer. I mean, mm. what else would you expect? Never expect less. I mean, you know, so if you look at every detail, and of course, having a TK on the project as well, with his wealth of experience, so every detail was, you know, focused on. Mm. I'm not an Akpala uh, music person, mm -hmm. but by virtue of being on that project, now my oh, ears yeah. are tuned yeah. Yeah. to, that would happen. You know, to Akpala yeah. songs. Mm -hmm. um, I'm sure the editor for one, he tells me now, so yeah, I know all of <laughs> that <laughs> song. You know, just from editing, he's you know, mm -hmm. playing you back, and, now, and he's not a Yoruba person. Wow. You know, and now he knows all the songs. So even when we were reviewing, doing the edit, he would just start to sing. I'm like, ah, uh -uh. you know, welcome <laughs> on board. So for me, it's, it's really great that we're doing this at this time. Hmm. TK was very particular about shooting the film last year. He was very keen on, you know, whatever we're going to do to make this happen, the camera must roll. Hmm. And so on the first day when we have the first camera where we're like yes we're in yes now let's you know let's go for this and something amazing happened and in last drama Adewale mm. died a day after we wrapped on sex oh. I don't think that's a coincidence mm. for me I think he just needed to be alive and see that happen mm. and this is you know my personal, personal take on it. Yeah. Yeah. So overall, I'm really happy that we were doing this. I'm happy that people get to not only experience Akpala music, but also experience the great man Ayinla, also experience the Egba culture. Yeah. He had to do a lot of... Ah, uh, <laughs> 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 what's that thing you see? Language learning, and I remember... Yeah. You know, the language um, director on set will say, no, 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 it's, you're speaking Yoruba now. That's yeah. not, that's not a bad. Uh, you have to take it again. Or he will say, no, 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 no that's bad the language. Now, uh, you have to take it again. Wow. You know, and so for me, bringing all of that, so it's not just about the movie itself, but everything in it. And he has a person, Apala music, the Egba language, hmm. even showcasing Abiyakuta and the beauty, hmm. you know, of Abiyakuta. So um, overall, I mean, people should just go watch this and see what we're really talking about here, Ayla is a masterpiece. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. 
So speaking of overall, as an audience, we cannot obviously wait to see the film. I'm super excited. I'd like to say a very big thank you to everybody that came together to make this film possible, from the director to the producer, to the cast, the crew, even to the fan pacing, the makeup yeah, artists, the uh, stylist star that you mentioned the whole time, the person that's to record no full no that person is also <laughs> very, very yeah. important. Yes, like every single uh, person that was on that set, because at the end of the day, you know, Listening to the stories, you know, I can already imagine the amount of work that, that has gone into this. And the only way that this work will be truly validated is if we all go into the cinemas and actually experience this. For me, this is more like a learning curve for me. I just want to learn. I want to see and want to give a very big shout out to First Bank for sponsoring the film. I mean, First Bank is uh, woven into the fabric of culture. They've been doing this for 127 years. That's a long, long time. They are doing it again. They will not stop to do it. <laughs> give or not to who or not is due. <laughs> So without having said too much, after saying so much, I would just like to close on the note by saying, get your ticket, see the movie, leave it, relieve it, and share the experience.